Let's say you're a pirate. I'm a pirate. But you don't have any friends to help you sail your ship. I don't. The waves can be pretty lonely when you're on your own. They are. So you're probably eager to learn how to find a reliable crew. I am. It's time to take out your notepad and start jotting down ideas. Let's put our anxiety aside and begin making friends in the Sea of Thieves. Before you make friends, you must first learn to let go of your loot. You have to find it within yourself to truly understand that gold serves no real purpose, and anything that gets you gold is equally unimportant. You must recognize that your riches don't matter and treasure is meaningless. Once this mantra is cemented in your head, you can move on to dealing with other buccaneers. Namely, ones who want to kill you and take your pointless plunder. When approaching other crews, remember that they can greet you with immediate hostility. Have a counterattack planned if they come in guns blazing. Line up an escape route if things get messy. Keep your ship in a defensive position to give yourself more time to negotiate. Always be ready to act swiftly and instantly retaliate, meeting their fire and violence with friendship and kindness. If all else fails, you might have to accept that you ran into some scallywags who simply wanted to sink you. When this inevitably happens, you should brush it off and try again with another crew. The sorts of sailors that want to be friends are rarely the ones that shoot on sight. You can always gauge another Picaroon's intentions by watching them for a bit and monitoring their behavior before ever trying to talk to them. A lot can be learned by taking a few extra seconds to examine what's happening. They might be brand new sailors who are earning their sea legs, just like we all were once upon a time. You could sink them for little reward, or you could help to make the seas even better by showing these brand new pirates the ropes, setting them on course to be formidable foes in the future. Sometimes, all it takes to form an alliance is for others to trust that your intentions are honest, especially when they have a set mission in mind. If they are clearing a fort of skeletons, and you only want to help in the thrill of fighting the undead, be honest with them. Tell them you're happy to let them take all the loot if they let you get in some combat practice. Working towards symbiotic goals such as this can be a great benefit for all involved, and you should always make efforts towards healthy compromises. Let's say there's a chest of legends, and you've got your eye on it. But then you spot another pirate, and they've got their eye on it too. What do you do? How about you pick it up so they can steal it from you, but you get to keep all their rag and bone crates? A compromise. This ensures that all sailors involved get something desirable. After all, some commendations offer a much greater reward than a few measly pieces of treasure. And once you've learned to juggle earning gold and making friends, you're able to achieve a lot more. There will always be pirates who disagree with this, and that's totally okay. They may sail the seas solely to sink and steal and shoot and swashbuckle. It's important to remember that there's nothing wrong with another pirate just wanting to have fun and try to sink you. That danger is part of the excitement of being on the seas. If there wasn't a chance that, at any moment, somebody could board your ship and wipe hours of your progress away from you, would the thrill of adventure be as rewarding? Inversely, it's also important for them to remember that marooned pirates never survived as long as pirates with big communities, and if a fellow sailor only wants to hurl cannonballs and insults at you, then they're not the sort you'd want on your ship anyway. It's better to acknowledge when sailing styles don't align than it is to try and force an unhealthy relationship to blossom into anything better. You should instead spend your time focusing on the light-hearted scallywags that bring something unique to the table. Find the people that make your crew feel a little more cozy and complete. After you've made your friends, the last thing to remember is they may not stick around. They may want to go off on their own adventures without you, accomplishing things for themselves. They may never sail with you, or at all, ever again. As sad as this may seem, you can always take solace in knowing that in some way, you help to shape the lives of others out there in the world. They may always look back on their memories of the time you spent together with warmth and fondness. And that alone is worth more than any treasure. However you decide to make your mark on the seas, remember to do it with a smile on your face and a grog in your hand. One of those two things is bound to help you overcome the anxiety of making friends. Ooh.